Sexual Selection Within Peacocks When the peacock is conjured into the imagination, immediately one feature of the bird's anatomy comes to mind, the tail. Peacocks are famous for their striking plumage, both because of its size and fan shape and its rich iridescent hues of green and blue. These resplendent feathers are not, however, found across the whole species. They're limited, rather, to the males. Peacocks use their eye-catching tails to catch the eyes of peahens, which have a simple brown coloration. Many traits develop in species because of natural selection. Traits continue on through generations becoming more and more frequent because the individuals with that trait survive to reproduce. With peacocks, however, their phenotype was not a direct product of this process. Rather, the peacock, and specifically its tail, was a product of sexual selection, which is a subcategory of natural selection. According to the University of Berkeley, Sexual selection acts on an organism's ability to obtain or successfully copulate with the mate. Assuming the individuals make it past the initial hurdle, hurdle of natural selection, specifically that they are about to survive to the mating season, sexual selection accounts for which of the survivors are able to attract and keep a mate in order to reproduce. So, if the animal can live long enough to where they are able to reproduce, then their traits will be passed on for future generations because of sexual selection, because they were the ones able to mate. A part of why peacocks have evolved to have such ornate and elaborate plumage is from their tendency to breed early. Peahens see the most attractive peacocks as the healthiest ones, young and well-fed. Young peacocks being the primary mates means they must survive a shorter amount of time before reproducing. And so the species is more shaped by feminine preferences than by birds that aspire to a long life. So because the peacocks reproduce at such a much younger age than the peahens do, the necessity of the peacocks to live longer goes down, and that is through sexual selection because the peahens are looking for younger males than they are older. And th the fact that peacocks maintain the ability to fold their tails also aids to their continuing on without becoming such an easy male. So one way that peacocks um, extend their life is through a defense mechanism, which is hiding their tail from predators and making them less noticeable. Although peacocks are able to hide their tails from predators, the tail is still quite a burdensome trait for the peacock. The length and weight that the peacocks have to drag around makes them a lot slower when it comes to running away from the predators. It's irrefutable that the tails of peacocks were born of a mating advantage rather than survival. The question then becomes what makes these tails attractive to peahens? A large reason as to why traits in general are considered attractive can be found in the biological processes that shape it. In human females, for example, a low waist-hip ratio suggests a high estrogen ratio, which is an indicator of a better reproductive function. By contrast, peacock tails are not linked with the fertility of their owners. Where a juvenile peacock to be castrated, his lack of testosterone would not impede the growth of his tail. So, in other words, in human females, because the phenotype of the human 
is linked with hormones. If you were to change the hormones of the female, you would be changing the f physical uh, being of the f of the female. Unlike peacocks, where if you were to change the hormone in the peacock, you would not be changing the physical appearance of the f peacock.